we will now look at square roots that are not perfect, that is, square root values that are not integers, but are irrational. Which means that they are, you will recall, non-repeating and non-terminating decimals. We will look at estimating or approximating the value of these irrational square roots by placing them between the two perfect square integer values that they lie between. For example, let's take a look at the square root of 2. We look at the radicand, which in this case is 2, and place it between two perfect squares that we know of. 1, the square root of 1, and we know our other perfect square, which is 4. 2 lies between the number 1 and the number 4. The square root of 1 is 1. So the square root of 2 is greater than 1, but less than the value 2, or the square root of 4. You'll note that we are looking at the square roots only in their positive values, although we're aware that the negative term is also a solution to the square root. Let's take a look at another square root value that is irrational, but let's estimate what its true value is. Let's take the square root of 21 and determine what integer values it lies between. We know that 21 is greater than the nearest perfect square, 16, and is less than the perfect square of 25. Therefore, square root of 21 lies between the number 4 and the integer value 5. Let's take another look. Let's take a look at, say, how about the square root of 79? Well, we know that it's greater than the perfect square 64. And we know that it's less than the perfect square 81. We can therefore say that the square root of 79 lies between the integers 8 and 9.